Raw numbers in a spreadsheet don't mean much to anyone. And yeah, you can make a graph, but making one that actually tells the story of what happened, that takes time. So I started using VenGage's AI graph generator to speed this up. Today I'm showing you how I take launch week signup data and turn it into a visual that actually explains what went down, the spikes, the crashes, and the events behind them. Let's take a look at how I did it. Okay, so let's get started. So I have this CSV file with our launch week signup data. This is just dates and numbers, but numbers in a spreadsheet don't tell the story. I need to show my team what happened during launch week, when we got press coverage, when an influencer posted about us, and when we had that outage that affected signups. So all of that context is missing from my raw data. So we're gonna visualize this with AI. I'm gonna to go to the free AI graph generator on Vengage. This will be linked in the description below, or you can click the link above to try it for yourself. So what I'm gonna do is enter my prompt. So I have graph, launch week signups, line with event markers, annotate spikes, weekend shading. So I'm telling it I want a line graph, what the data represents, and that I want event markers and annotations to tell the story. So now I need to paste my CSV data. Let me do that now. And this is just a super simple data set. Okay, so we'll click generate and Vengage will begin generating our design. What I like about this tool is that it works with pretty much any data you're already tracking. So this is launch week signups, but you could throw in sales numbers, website traffic, really anything that you're measuring over time. I'll show you in a bit, but you can edit or add any data in the editor for any of your graphs or charts. Okay, looks like we got our graph back. Let's go into the editor and take a closer look into this. Okay, so we have our line graph here showing signups over launch week. The AI has already created a clean visualization with our data plotted out. We can see the trends, where the signups increased, where they dipped. We have all of our axis labeled. We have a clear line showing the trend and we have a nice clean layout. This is already way better than what I'd get from just exporting a chart from Excel or Google Sheets. But now let's actually make this tell the story of what happened during launch week. So what I'm gonna do first is click brand kit here and I'm gonna customize this to match our brand. So I could just easily shuffle through these color palettes and make it match our brand. I think that first go was honestly great, but you can shuffle a couple times through all of your color palettes. You can also add your logos, apply your fonts. So we use pop-ins. I could apply that here. It updated all of my text. And then you can also explore more palettes, explore more font pairings. And then you can, of course, add your brand kit here. So let's just say we wanted to add the brand MailChimp and then Vengage will automatically pull in the logos, colors, and fonts if applicable. So you can easily find your brand that way or you can manually upload it. So now that I've applied my brand kit, we are going to add markers to show what caused the spikes in the dip. So I can see the first spike here on the eighth. That's where we dropped our press release. So I need to add a marker for this. What I'm gonna do is I have this legend up here that Vengage automatically applied for us. So what I can do is add text. I can just add a paragraph text right up here. I can make it white so that we're able to see it on the dark background and I can add PR draw. And since I want to indicate this on my graph, I'd like to add a nice icon for this. So I can go to the AI tools and go to generate icons with AI, and then I'll be in the AI icon generator. And I can put in here megaphone, and I can choose the monotone style. I can generate this. And what it's gonna do is generate an icon based off of my prompt. So you could get specific with this if you'd like. I'm just gonna do a simple one. You can also change the styles, your bold, 3D, sticker, monotone, outline. Okay, awesome, I got some back. I'm gonna use this one and let's close this. What I'm gonna do is add this marker to the spike right here. So right above 312, I'll add my megaphone and then I'll make a copy of this and I'll add it into this circle. So let's bring that in here. So now when somebody views this, they can associate the megaphone with the PR drop. Let's add another one. So this spike here the following day is when an influencer posted about us. So I'm gonna add another text and I'm gonna say influencer post. And now I'll generate another icon for this. So I could do a star in monotone again, and then I'll choose this one. I'll add this here and then I'll add it right above are 487 signups. 
I'll again make a copy of this and then add it to this circle. So now you can immediately see the correlation between that event and the spike. Okay, so then we had a huge dip on the 11th. This is an outage that we had, not great, but it's part of the story. So let me generate a warning icon in monotone once again, and then I'll add that to indicate this outage. So while that's generating, let's go ahead and add our label. So we'll do outage and I'll place this icon here. And then I'll copy this and place it in this circle so that everybody knows what that means. And we'll just delete this one because we don't need it. So now that we have our markers, it's already a huge difference. One thing I wanted to show you is that if you click into your chart, you can edit any of your data. So you have a nice, easy spreadsheet here. So if I needed to change any of these, I could do that here. If I needed to add another column, I could there. We could also take a look at the setup so I could change any of the number formats. I can make these percentages or values. I could change the chart style so you can edit that. I could show patterns. I think that looks great. You could change the grid line color, your axes, labels. You could add a legend. So you can get really granular with this and customize it however you want. I just wanted to show you that that was available and that you could also add more data after you generate your graph. So moving on, I'm gonna add some more context. I'll duplicate this text box. And what I'm gonna do is change this to paragraph so that it's smaller and change the font color. And I'm gonna ask the AI text generator to generate me a description. So what I'm gonna write is short description for a launch week signup graph. This is just so we can provide more context, graph depicting the number of signups during launch week. I could replace this. Maybe I don't like how short it is. I could click the AI text generator once more and I can say, make it more professional, or I could say, make it longer. It'll give me an output graph illustrating the number of signups during launch week. I could say, add more context. This includes three major event markers. I could send that. Graph illustrating the number of signups during launch week featuring three major event markers that highlight key promotional activities and product updates contributing spikes in user registrations. They think that's perfect. So I'll go ahead and replace this section, make it a little bit smaller. And then now I have a really nice description under my title. So this looks great. That extra context makes it look more professional and immediately tells viewers what they're looking at. Now, before we export, I want to run an accessibility check. If I go to file and go to accessibility, I can click check accessibility and then run this for my design. What this is gonna do is check my graph and make sure that it's accessible for every viewer. So I can see that we have some text size fails, we pass the color contrast test, links, tables, they all look good. And then I can also perform manual reviews. So let's take a look at the issue that we had, text size. Larger text sizes may be easier for viewers with vision impairments to perceive. Okay, and it says we recommend using text sizes of at least 16 pixels. So what I can do, this is 12.21. I can make this 16. I think that looks better. So we actually just passed that. Then we have our text analytics dashboard that is too small i could change this to 16 past okay so now our text size is reading as past so we don't have a lot of issues left looks like we just have the manual reviews so this looks great so this is super helpful when you're sharing graphs with larger teams or if you're presenting to stakeholders who might have visual impairments okay so let me zoom out and you can see our final graph here this looks amazing. So now we have a complete story. We can see signups starting at the baseline, spiking when we dropped our PR, another spike from an influencer post, a dip during the outage. All of that context is right there in the visual. This is so much more powerful than just showing numbers in a spreadsheet. The story is immediately clear. Now let's export this. I can go up here to the top to download and I can download this as a PNG for presentations or for Slack or as a PDF if I'm including it in a report. I'm gonna download this as a PNG. Okay, so it downloaded. Let's take a look at the before and after. So we went from this Google sheet that's super boring, doesn't have much context. All we have is dates and numbers. 
we can't see the story from here. But now we have this beautiful graph that depicts the story, it gives context, it shows what worked, what didn't, and it only took us a couple of minutes to create. So as you can see, it is super easy to turn raw data into a visual story thanks to the AI tools within Vengage. The AI graph generator is just one of over 100 free AI design tools that Vengage offers. You've got chart makers, infographic generators, presentation tools, pretty much any visual content that you need for work. If you wanna try this out for yourself, check the link in the description and share with us the graph that you created using Vengage AI graph generator. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.